told y'all I got some little weird ways about me. You gonna roll with it, you gonna roll on. another day in the vlog my name is Gina Janine I haven't done an intro in a minute y'all but my name is Gina Janine for those of you who are new here if this is your first video you came across I like to think of myself as your thick best friend why because everybody needs a thick best friend guys girls everybody but if you are young and now if you young I got some youngins that watch me I could be your thick auntie I can I can I can be that okay but anyway I'm picking up the camera super late today like super late um and I had like a full like regular day but it was just so like y'all been seeing it every day of vlogmas me waking up taking the kids to school going to the gym running errands per going to stores like I went to Target today I went to Marshall's today you know how much of that can y'all see and then the kids had a half a day so I picked them up at 12 brought them back home me and ashton took a nap together for about 45 minutes then their dad came over they trained he trained them for basketball for a few hours and they just left about an hour ago and now it's six o'clock so i have a video uploading my sunday video is uploading and i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm probably gonna run to the grocery store to buy some shrimp or a salmon or something i want to make myself some uh fish and shrimp for dinner I don't want to uh, go out. Usually when I don't have the kids, I don't cook for myself. It's very rare. I'll eat uh, a meal prep or if I have leftovers from somewhere, I'll eat that. I usually don't like cook for myself. But I say, you know what? I want to I want to cook today. I want I want fish, shrimp, make a glaze with it over cauliflower rice. Like that's what I want. So that's what I'm going to eat. So I'm going to run to the grocery store probably in the next like 30, 40 minutes. But I am watching my boo thing, Lily, yours truly. Lily, girl, you need to come back to Houston. You need another trip out here to H-Town. <laughs> we had so much fun. But if y'all, and my candle is also going, I know y'all can hear that. It sounds like a fireplace. I absolutely love it. It's like so calming. So yeah, I just got a uh, package from Fashion Nova. I bought some more wide leg jeans, y'all. Bought some more wide leg jeans. I showed y'all those wide leg, um, or straight leg as they call them, uh, jeans from Marshalls that I got in my, not my last vlog, but I believe it was a, you know what? I think it was my last vlog. I said that I, I don't wanna just always wear skinny jeans. I wanna have different options. I'm trying to expand bands my fashion palette i'm trying so let me show y'all these wide leg jeans that i got from fashion nova last week all of their jeans were buy one get one 50 off so i'm like right in my alley so even if they don't work out it's not like i spent a lot of money so these are the first ones and no i'm not gonna try them on they're just some like ash black and you can see that how wide the leg is. These are called the Killing Them Softly Side Split Jean. And fun fact, when I used to work with Fashion Nova, I actually did these in a haul and they fit me so good, but because they were not skinny ankle, I wound up selling them on Poshmark. So now over a year later, here we are and I repurchased them. So I know these are tall girl friendly. Like I know these touch the ground and even with heels on, these were long enough, so. That's those. Oh, and I got those in a size 15. They stretch, but they're not like super stretch, you know? I don't think like boyfriend fit jeans are supposed to be like super stretchy. Well, let me, let me not say that lie because these are insanely stretchy. I might have to order these in a, a smaller size. These are called the longing for you distressed wide leg jeans. Now these are very stretchy. You can't really see, but these are very stretchy. Now they are a thick denim. They're wide leg and everybody in the comments, or well, in the reviews said that they're very, very long. 
So I'm hoping that they'll fit me. And I like this little detail right here where it looks like it was supposed to have had like a little thing there. These look like they about to be up under my titties like long, long. What do I wear with these? Okay, so now I know if I'm wearing them dressed up, I should wear like a pump just so I can see a little bit of like the front, like the pointy part of the pump. But if I'm wearing them casually, like on a regular day, do I wear sneakers with the with wide leg jeans? Or sandals? I've only seen the girls dress them up and wear pumps with them. I'm gonna have to ask Fitz um, what he thinks. I told y'all that he's um, he has a channel, him and his boyfriend have a channel called Life with Kino and Fitz. And but Fitz is a um a fashion. He does fashion styling, so I would need to ask him. Okay, y'all, I am back. And I always tell y'all, I don't like looking crusty all day long. I was in my gym clothes, hair pulled back, baseball cap on. It's not really crusty, but it gym attire, you know. So I'm still in lounge clothes. I'm in a tank top and some sweats, <laughs> but I did do my hair, um, brushed my eyebrows. So I'm like, let me put a little product in my hair to make me feel and look a little bit better. So I'm about to run to the grocery store real quick. Unplug that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run to the grocery store real quick. I just need a couple things. I'm not doing major grocery shopping. I just, I need to, but I don't feel like it. 7.30 at night, so yeah, I don't feel like it. But I'm picking up a couple things so I can make myself something to eat tonight. And like, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, little stuff like that. Y'all, look how expensive oxtails are. That's from one pack. These are thinner cut, one pack. And Ethan wonders why I don't buy oxtails no more. This neck bone, how much is this? Ooh, I'm not buying some neck bone, hold it. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I had somebody uh, hit me up in the DM about the TikTok salmon um, recipe. You know, the one that everybody loves, the one that your girl loves. Um, so you don't have to cook your rice, you don't have to cook your salmon. She says that she gets these packs of salmon. She gets the already made rice that all you have to do is heat up. Her seaweed papers, her mayo, her, her um, Asian mayo. And that's it. And she's like, I could bring it to work with me. She's like, it's just so easy and it tastes just like the one. So I think I might try it, but except with the already made rice, I think I might try it with cauliflower rice. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some of these, try it with cauliflower rice. I'm going to buy some of the spicy mayo. Ooh, I'm going to try to do mine the healthy version. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know what the already made rice is, it's this, it's already cooked, all you do is heat it up. And then this is the seaweed that I like, the teriyaki flavor. But of course they have like sesame. I've never tried this one. This is olive oil flavor. Then they have a sea salt one, but I love me some teriyaki. I can't find the spicy mayo. I checked the Asian aisle. I'm in the condiments aisle. I've walked up and down that aisle so many times and I don't know what to look. What the hell? Is it, is it in salad dressing maybe? Where is salad dressing? All right, we're gonna check the salad dressing aisle. Okay, now I'm in the mayonnaise aisle. Mayonnaise, and it's not with the mayonnaise. So I literally have no clue where that was, where it's supposed to be, like. I'm I'm at a total loss. Is it over here by salsa? Okay, here's the salsas and the hot sauces. What the hell? I don't like asking for help. I'm gonna make it how I made it last time. I didn't use it last time and it was bomb as fuck. But everybody's like, oh, Gina, it tastes so much better with the mayonnaise. So, mm. Oh, these are so cute. Y'all look. Look, they're teddy bears, but they're like apples. Oh, and a penguin, cute. Okay, y'all, so I just asked somebody, and he said aisle three. So I'm about to check and see if aisle three, maybe I overlooked it, I don't know, but let's see. Back to the mail. 
So they have hot top. Oh shit, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate it. So it's like an Asian mayo, but no. I mean, that probably could work, but it's like a sriracha mayo. I've seen it at Target, but I've never. I haven't seen it here. I don't shop here very often, so that's the only one. Okay. I might try that one. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Uh, so, hot sauce mayo. It is. This is what we're using. It's only $1.80. So, I don't feel bad if I, if I don't like it. I ain't waste no money. Ooh, what's this? Mm. Hot ranch. Let me go. I guess I tracked. Y'all, I had a subscriber um, DM me yesterday saying, I saw you at Target. And my response to her was, why didn't you come and say hi? Why are some people scared, scared to say hi to me? Like, I'm not mean, I'm not rude, I ain't stuck up. Exactly how you feel that connection with me over the camera, I'm the same way in person. Like, I'm not, I ain't bougie. I don't think I'm above nobody. You know what I mean? So, anyway, if you see me in public, say hi. Most people do. But there are those few that are like, oh, I will next time. I will next time. And just they just never do. Or there may not be a next time. Oh, my God, y'all. Look, I'm going to try this. Ew, it's green. Hell no. It sounds good, though. But this one right here, oh, my God. I wonder if this is good. I wasn't on a diet, y'all know. Fun fact about me, my favorite flavor of Bluebell ice cream is bright what's it called? Wedding cake. Oh my god. Oh, I need milk. Wrong way. The only store where I can find all the flavors of the Zero Sugar Minute Maid is an HEB. I need to start coming here more often because um, all of these are coming home with me. When I tell y'all, I seen a fine ass man in there fine about six four chocolate nice haircut had his work suit on oh he was fine baby <sighs> he was staring at me i was staring at him he ain't say shit neither did i and we'll probably never see each other again even when he checked out he was right next to me looking and he was parked like four cars from me. And he slowed down when I was putting my basket away. And he stopped and looked. I should have done little one of these. Little, little wave, little. Mm-hmm. I should have started switching a little bit more. I actually did. I was switching a little bit more. Of course, you got to make the booty jiggle. Especially when you know they're watching. What? <sighs> anyway. Guess it wasn't meant to be. Let me scan my Fritch Rewards got this long ass receipt i meant to come in here and buy a couple of things 105 dollars and 76 cents later i came out with a bunch of stuff not even major grocery shopping just stuff like mm, yeah let me get this mm, yeah let me get that anyways fetch rewards is just an app where you scan your receipts any receipt it could be from the doctor's office it can be from the grocery store it can be from retail shopping any receipt that you get you scan it and it converts those points into money and you can transfer that money onto gift cards you cannot cash it out to get cash for it but you get gift cards to pretty much all of your favorite stores they have like banana republic they have macy's they have nordstrom they have a bunch of restaurants so but if you use my code, no, I don't. No, this is not sponsored. They need to sponsor me. I actually emailed them twice and then MFs didn't respond back. Anyway, but if you use my code that I'm going to put on the screen, 68DUU, you can get your first, with your first scan, you get a free $2. And that $2 can convert into gift cards. But you need to wait and build it up. I mean, don't just get a $2, 3 gift card. Why would you do that? Get you a $10, $20 gift card. Okay, so y'all let me take a picture of this receipt come on lighting focus there you go y'all i put gas in this car today twenty dollars twenty dollars got me over the halfway mark i'm so jealous y'all know the last fill up in my um in my car was over ninety dollars it was like ninety four dollars 
That means the halfway mark would have been like 40 some dollars. That is sick. That's sick. So I got my points. I got 35 points. Can y'all see that? No, you can't see that. But anyway, yeah, y'all scan all your seats for Fetch Rewards and there's even an option for you to... Somebody behind me? It's even an option for you to scan your um your e-receipts for the stuff that you buy online. Okay? I oh shit balls. I'm sorry, dude. Oops. Let me be careful in this car. Ooh, something done fell over. Let me call Jennifer because this um this whore bag has not called me today. And did not answer my call when I called her at 6 30. And now it's 8 30. I know she up. Ain't doing shit. Probably eating or yelling at them kids. Ma'am. What's up? What you doing? Wrapping up. Wrapping up. That's what I need to do. I need to wrap some Christmas gifts while I ain't got nothing to do. Well, I'm about to go home and cook dinner. And then I might wrap up some Christmas gifts and get drunk while I'm doing it. <laughs> Y'all be pleased to know I got some new peanut butter. But I got so many messages, girl, saying, eat that peanut butter. Oh, I eat expired peanut butter all the time. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that peanut butter. Girl, I hope you didn't throw that peanut butter away. That peanut butter is perfectly fine. A bunch of messages like that. So if you were trying to be the ones that judged me, and rotate. I need to bust my chicken down. Do y'all do that when y'all buy chicken? You bust it down like halfway or in threes and then put it in the freezer. I need to do that, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Ugh. Uh, I done bought the kids this ice cream. It is still. Did they even eat any? Wow. Somebody did one scoop across the top. Wow. See, kids be asking for stuff and then they don't eat it. So now, see, I gotta, I'm about to get mad because I'm like, now I'm gonna feel like I need to eat it so my money ain't wasted. But I'm not gonna do it. I know ice cream don't go bad, so I'm gonna leave it in there. I know they're gonna eat it one day. I'm gonna have to probably make them eat it like no popsicles for dessert, no gummy snacks for dessert. You need to eat some ice cream because y'all asked for this and I bought it. Bitch, I know, I know you are lying. Wow. I'm, two empty boxes. Empty, sitting in the freezer. Two empty boxes of popsicles. I see y'all do that in the shit with the pantry. Y'all get the last little bite, the last gummy, and leave the box in there. But now y'all doing it with the popsicles in the freezer too? See, now I'm not going to be buying shit like this. Y'all done, done pissed me off with the ice cream. Two empty boxes of popsicles. Y'all going to start eating fruit for dessert. That's what that is. Y'all going to eat fruit for dessert. So I made me a little libation while I cook. This is, it's called a keto drink, even though I'm not on keto, it's a keto drink. So I use some Ciroc, I use zero sugar, Minute Maid lemonade, and then I use some zero sugar soda. Let me show y'all the soda, hold on. So this is the soda that I use, it's called Sparkling Ice, and the flavor is peach nectarine, it's really good. So I used a splash of this, probably like, it was probably like down to here, and I just put the rest of it in my cup. And so it's really good. Y'all can still drink and watch your weight, watch your calorie intake, you know? Okay, so this is dinner, cauliflower rice, grilled shrimp, 
seared salmon and then I put a little bit of teriyaki on top and then of course some parsley just to make it look pretty so that's dinner and then I got my water good morning besties how is everybody doing this morning I hope everybody is having a blessed and productive day whatever day it is that you're watching this I hope you're getting your work done I hope you're getting your workouts done whatever it is that's on your list to do I hope y'all are doing it right now it is Saturday here in Houston um nasty weather outside well the nasty weather is about to hit in about like two hours we have a cold front hitting and it's supposed to be raining for a few hours so not fun I'm headed to the kids uh basketball game now y'all see I got on my t-shirt And that's really all that's on my agenda today. I got my coffee. Today was a hot coffee type of day. Cause it's early, I'm a little bit tired. I did get my rest last night. It just, it, I, I slept about six hours of broken sleep. So hence the hot coffee. Cause usually I'm a cold coffee girl. I'm about to find some uh, music to listen to, to wake me up. And I told you I like talk radio in the mornings. It's Saturday. My normal talk radio station, they don't do it on Saturday. So I gotta find some music. So I'll probably put on a little, I don't know, some old school R&B. It's an old school R&B time morning. We've arrived, we have arrived. We're about five minutes late because my GPS tried to play me. It thought I was on the feeder when I was on the freeway. So they my fault, okay? But anyway, the rest of this footage is probably gonna be from my phone, so the quality might change, so yeah. Throw it in, papi, throw it in. You need some cauliflower rice. Some cauliflower rice. That was a big old puddle. The tournament was good today. Like, neck and neck. Real good tournament. They lost one. They won one. And when I tell y'all, Ethan balled out. Me and his dad were just like, whoa. Like, Ethan balled out. Oh, man. We were so proud of him. Ashton did good. She did good, too. She just gets nervous when though she gets the ball. So, she like get scared to shoot so she'll just like pass it to somebody which is fine she can pass it to somebody but it's like girl you're right there wide open for the basket like shoot like if you miss it it's okay but at least you tried you know so anyway but Ethan man my baby balled out so I'm headed home now it's it is nasty outside it's been raining for hours it kind of really just slowed down. It's like just sprinkling now. But I'm headed home. I do not want to be out in this weather. The temperature dropped by like 15 degrees. It was like 78 when I left out the house and now it's 64. So I'm headed home. I need some lunch. I'm starving. All I've had today was coffee. So I'm, I got leftover shrimp from last night. I have leftover cauliflower rice. And then I'll probably cut up some turkey sausage to just make another bowl. Gotta do what you gotta do when you're trying to eat healthy. Cause I sure wanted to stop at Chick-fil-A, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to chill. I got food at home. Let me do right. <sighs> Just that nap weather. I might go on here and take me a good old nap. About an hour. About an hour now. Mm -hmm. I'm clean up a little bit too. I kinda I I cleaned the kitchen last night after I cooked, but then I didn't it's like I cleaned it but then I still got little speckles of olive oil like on the stove and stuff and y'all know that just don't sit right in my heart that 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 stresses me out and I didn't make my bed up this morning that stresses me out too I gotta make my bed up to feel complete even if I'm gonna take a nap I gotta fix my bed just for me to go to bed told y'all I got some little weird ways about me but it's me just who I am you gonna roll with it you're gonna roll on i am home 
I got my hair pulled back. I got undressed, put my robe on, put on some really, really good oil that a subscriber sent me. Their company is called Vanilla Hudson and this is the scent that they sent me. It says number nine on it. When I tell you guys, this smells so good. Ashton opened it with me and she was like, oh my God, I want it, I want it. I'm like, girl, no, this is for me. It's an oil. And when I tell you guys, it lasts all day. So yeah, check her out. Um, I featured her in a P.O. Box unboxing a while back, but I, her company name is Vanilla Hudson, so you should be able to find her. Uh, black owned, smells amazing. Amazing, I will not steer you guys wrong. Like, hello. But I'm going to do a little pamper routine on myself while I eat and just chill. I'm gonna do a, um, a hand mask. Ooh, hold on. This is the hand mask that I'm gonna do. I got it from, did I get this from Forever 21? It says a dollar on it. Either Forever 21 or Old Navy. I wanna say Forever 21. Forever 21, yes. And then I'm gonna do a blackhead treatment on my nose. And I'm gonna chill. I don't plan on leaving the house at all today. Um, I plan on being in the house all day. If I leave the house, it would be maybe to run to the grocery store to buy more cauliflower rice, but that's not even a for sure. Let me cook. Let me clean. And I'll be back. I'm watching my girl, Taja. I don't even want to butcher her last name for Juste. But yeah, Taja. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, my lunch. It doesn't look that great. It's just cauliflower rice a few shrimp and some turkey sausage and ice water that's it this is what we eating low calorie low carb i would love to be eating a succulent cheeseburger and some sweet potato fries but we just can't do that right now we got goals i don't think i've ever done a hand mask before i've done facial masks of course lip masks Feet masks, but a hand mask. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells plastic glove. Hold on. Child, I was not expecting plastic gloves. I was expecting a mask, kind of like the one I put on my face. That's what I was expecting. Hold on, let me before I put these on, let me read the instructions. You know, black folks hate reading instructions. Put on the gloves. Wash your hands with warm water, I just did that. Open the packet and wear hand masks. After 20 to 30 minutes, take off hand masks. You don't need to wash your hands again. Okie dokie, artichokey. How do I open the hand mask? Dog, why I can't open this damn hand mask? Bruh. There it goes, Jesus. You gotta like pull it from where the palm part is and then rip it open. All right. Ew, it's juicy. It's really juicy. Let me put my timer. Ah! Put a timer on my phone for 25 minutes. I'll do in between. Hello, lover. <laughs> okay, so we are done. My alarm went off. The nails mask is hard. Y'all, these are a must. If you do not do Biore nose strips, they're a must. I do these, I try to do them at least once a week minimum, but ideally twice a week. Look at, look at all the gunk. You can't even see it because it's white. But all them little nasty, ugh. It's a must though, guys. And then let's see the Huns, the hands reveal. They're looking nice and moisturized. You can really tell how skinny my fingers are. Remember I tell you guys all the time I have toddler hands. I wear a size four on this finger 
and on these two fingers i wear a five sometimes a six can fit this uh pointer finger but girl mm -mm. toddler hands toddler hands i tell you oh they feel really soft i feel like i can just put this on my face and it smells so good they silky smooth ready to rub on somebody's sun chests give him a nice back massage too it's christmas time that special time of year uh, 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 uh. i just heard somebody's uh vlogmas intro and that that was it it's Christmas time. <laughs> I'm about to burn a new candle. My Lavish Butters candle is pretty much done. This is what I consider done. It's all the way at the bottom. There's only about an inch left. Yeah, I'm going to start burning a new candle. So I'm going to put this one out. RIP, I loved you. You smelled amazing. You did me great for the past, I think, week. I think I burned her every single day for hours upon hours for the past week. So this is the one that I'm gonna be burning next. This is Coconut Colada. This is Bath and Body Works. Oh, this is a really sweet candle. I usually like sweet candles for my kitchen and like, more masculine ones or like clean ones for my room but i'm doing the opposite right now i have like a clean one in the kitchen and now i'm doing a sweet one in my room it's okay though but that's the candle of the week my little young boo gave me this candle yesterday he was like here i got a candle for you hold on let me set y'all let me set y'all up so i could look now I'm saying my little, um, my little young boo got me this, or gave me this, not got me this. He says one of his clients, one of his clients made it for him. She makes candles and she made him a specially made candle. I'm like, nigga, this is one of your other bitches. Like, let's just be real. One of your clients ain't just gonna make you a candle. Like, I know what you do for a living. Like, one of your clients didn't just make you a special edition candle but anyway i told him i was like tell her it's trash and i ain't no hater i know he got other bitches just like i got other niggas like it just it is what it is but he's my young boo and he gonna forever be around until i get a man it, it just it is what it is we have a great understanding and anyway that's 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 none of y'all business but anyway this right here is trash i said tell her her candle is trash because look at how it burns that's horrible. It's supposed to burn down evenly. Like, what the fuck did you use? Is it the wick? Is it the kind of wax you use? Because the candles my subby send me, they burn evenly. They make my whole room smell good. And we don't have to worry about a hole in the middle of our candles. So, Taylor, bitch, uh, she needs to go back to the drawing board. Because if I was to spend my money on this, I'd be like, mama, I need my money back. I need a refund. This this ain't what's up. So anyway, let me get my wick trimmer. I, me, before I light a candle, I always trim the wicks. And of course, after every lighting, or no, let me reword that. Before I relight it, I cut the black part off of the wicks also. So before the first lighting of the candle and then every lighting after that, I trim the wicks. And Christmas time, that special time of year. Oh, there we go. Okay, coconut colada. Let's get the vibes right. Vibes, vibes. Let's get these vibes going. All right. I'm about to finish watching some YouTube videos and I think I might take a nap. It has started raining again. It has been raining on and off all day long. Oh, let me put my clothes in the dryer. That's what I'm gonna do first. Y'all, 
please tell me why i was just about to put on one of my new um pairs of slippers and i'm like let me go on target.com just to see if they have the color that i really want in my size because the one that i want in my size did not come in store it's only on the website and it was sold out so i was like let me check y'all why are the slippers seven dollars now seven dollars i paid 10 they are seven oh okay stupid phone seven dollars and it says ends today i want to return the slippers that i have and order all new ones yes i i'm that type of cheap i want my three dollars let me call Jennifer real quick. Hold on. Because I know she was ordering all hers online. She didn't want to do in store. So I wonder if she already ordered. Ma'am. What's up? Guess what? What? Did you already order your slippers from Target? Uh-huh. Right here. Well, they're, all, they're $7 today online. Bitch. I'm calling for a price adjustment. <laughs> okay. For real. Can we do that? Yeah, they delivered them today. They delivered them, but they were riding on Instagram, actually. Do we got to go up to the store? I ain't going, well, you do, because you bought them in the store. I'm going to try to call online. I'm going to go to the store later today and try to give me my little $3. Nine, nine dollars. Nine dollars. I ordered three pairs. Same here. I got three pairs. Oh, I got four pairs because I got a pair for Tina. Give my $12 back. That's a whole other pair of slippers. Y'all, please tell me why. Fashion Nova's clearance section is lit right now. Like lit, 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 litty. I got 13 things in my basket right now as we speak. I've been on, I've been on Fashion Nova's website for the past hour and a half. No joke. <laughs> I'm like, why is this stuff so good and so cheap? And they have it in my size. Like, oh my God, I need this. And even if I get it here and I don't like it and it don't fit, it was only $11, like Dee Dee's prices. So I don't feel bad. And then they has also, then they sent me a $10 um, off your next purchase. No minimum required. So I'm going to try to stack this $10 off with a coupon code too. I'm going to let you guys know in a minute if it worked. But y'all, these are the jeans that, um, the wide leg jeans that I ordered. I don't know how I feel about them. I think I like them, but they're just too big. I got them in a size 15 and I think I need to order them in a 13. Let me know what you think. <sighs> Y'all know I am a legging and skinny leg girl. So don't be too harsh on me. Just tell me the, the honest to God truth. I think this is what the trend is right now. Like girls are not really wearing, they wearing skinny jeans. Skinny jeans ain't never going out of style. Just That's just what it is. But I think the boyfriend, looser fit, relaxed fit jeans are like what's in right now. I don't know. I'm just so big at the bottom. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so these are them. They're very long. As you guys can see, they touch the ground. They bunch up at the ground. Um, high rise. They have distressing at the knee, distressing. The waist isn't actually isn't that bad either makes the booty look nice i'm surprised the waist isn't all bulky oh shoot but they i just don't like how loose they are like they are loose 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 so i these are 15 i think i'm gonna go ahead and order a size 13 along with all the clearance stuff that i have in my basket and then these will probably be on poshmark guys they actually don't look bad with like a white tank top. Hmm. Cause I could still wear them with the heel. And then I can also wear them with like, I guess sneakers. I don't know. I'm still learning, but let me go check out before stuff in my basket starts getting taken because I have a, I have a pair of booties in my basket that I cannot believe the price. Some leather booties with a thin gold heel for $15? Let me go check out. Y'all, I'm really sitting here debating on if I should go to Target to get my $13 back from these shoes to get the price adjustment. 
My homegirl bought hers online and she emailed them or did something and they gave her her price adjustment back immediately. <laughs> I don't care how much money I make in this lifetime. I'm going to always do returns. I'm going to always try to get money, save money, use the least amount of money. Okay? Just know that. Somebody asked me, can I do a a video about how to save money and pay off student loans and to pay your debt off. I can have a little segment about that because I was saving money even when I was living paycheck to paycheck. My living paycheck to paycheck really wasn't paycheck to paycheck because I was still saving money. My savings account was still looking nice. So, but I can do a little segment on that. Um, if you're ready to be a cheapskate like me, then <laughs> jump on board. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I, I was like, okay, I need to go to Target because I want some cauliflower rice. I would like to eat some cauliflower rice again with dinner tonight. But then it's cold outside. It's 55 degrees. I will have to literally put on some sweats, some Uggs. I can't just slide on my Nike slides and my leggings and walk out the door. Cause I know Target's open till like 11 o'clock for the holidays, but I don't think they're, I don't think customer service is open that long. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Then it's like, do I need to bring the shoes with me or do I just bring my receipt? Oh, you know what? I'm about to call them. That's what I'm gonna call them and see. I thought I was gonna cook dinner tonight, but I guess I'm not. I am so tired. Like I'm so sleepy. I just did not feel like cooking. And I'm like, well, at least I can make me a salad. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing that. This is what I'm eating. I put this in the microwave. It looks so underwhelming. I add a little garlic, a little onion powder, and a little pepper to it. So hopefully it tastes all right. But the Simply um, steamers are like, it's literally just what it is beef broccoli and rice i don't think they season it at all made with 100 percent natural beef 270 calories that's it so i mean it's the size of a child's plate let's see how this beef and broccoli tastes when i first pulled it out before i even microwave i'm like it smells like dog food it don't stink that bad now. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. Mm. It definitely wasn't seasoned because I only added a little bit. I only added a little bit of seasoning and it still tastes like it needs more. Not bad. Nothing to write home about though. This is diet food. Okay, so <clears throat> walking into Target, <sighs> there's a few things that I actually need grocery wise. <sighs> we'll see if I pick them up or if I just do my return. If the lines are long, I might buy some things and do my purchase at the return counter. Pro tip so you don't have to stand in a regular line. Okay, so the majority of y'all said Febreze plugins. Well, I ain't gonna lie. It was a, it was honestly a tie between Febreze plugins and Bath and Body Works. But since we're here at Target, we're gonna do the Febreze. <sighs> yeah, because Airwick is a no. $13. Oh, these are 12. Why they different prices? I'm gonna get a two pack. They have gain. I'm gonna get this, $10. But for an additional $3, I can get a three pack. Do they have gain? They do, but that's more expensive. Ew. I'm just showing y'all, like see, $13.69. These, $14.99. These, $12.99. Like why are they different prices, so. I'll get this three pack. That's expensive as hell, but we're gonna roll with it. Why do I feel like their customer service closes at nine? I don't know. Surprisingly, there's no lines at all, none. 
So I did all that fast grocery shopping for nothing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, these coats are cute. I don't need a coat though, because it'll be 80 degrees again in like, ooh, I can cut through right here. It'll be 80 degrees again, probably next week. I'm tired, I'm sleepy. I'm tired and I'm sleepy. I don't even, I'm so tired, I don't even feel like taking a shower. That's how tired I am. I'm gonna take a shower in the morning. I like taking my nighttime showers, but it ain't happening tonight. Um, I'm watching Kyra. And I think I'm about to literally go to bed, y'all. It's not even 11 o'clock yet, and it's Saturday. Like, I'm really acting my age, y'all. I'm really acting like an older woman. <laughs> Let me stop. I did want to go out tonight, but, um... I got a little shindig to go to tomorrow, and it starts early. Ooh, it starts early. I'm just realizing that. Okay, but you know, y'all gonna come along with me. It's a friends miss, y'all know, a little friends miss party. I gotta bring a bottle, so I'll be bringing a bottle of wine that I already got here at the house, because in Houston, they do not sell liquor on Sundays. So, but I just wanna tell y'all night. I hope y'all sleep good, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't let your feet hang off the bed because you know the monsters underneath the bed like to bite your ankles and, and pinch your toes and stuff. So, all right. Love y'all. Bye.